Coach Curry, congratulations on the uh, series sweep. Uh, can we start? We'll start with your opening statement. Yeah, uh, what, what a crazy game. Um, just a gritty, hard-fought series by our guys. Uh, I don't, I don't know how many lead changes. I don't know how many comebacks. Uh, you guys can tell me tomorrow, but um, it, it's just fun to be a part of it right now. It's getting to to the time of year where uh, the coaching side is the haze in the barn. We've worked since August, and, and now it's just about guys making plays and making pitches. And it's fun to watch them do it, especially on senior day. 15 guys uh, that that this is their last conference game last Sunday, and they ended it the right way. You know, as far as the game goes, uh, Jack Klein back-to-back -back quality starts. I uh, think he got into the uh, almost to the sixth inning. I count that as a quality start. He just ran out of pitches. They weren't hitting him, um, but he just ran out of pitches. And uh, so uh, right there, that was that was very good. Um, once again, their starter held us down. Uh, Nico hit the slider, uh, and it was one to one for a while. And then they scored a couple there in the sixth, and it was quiet again uh, until Jake Jake Wright big. Uh, I think it was two strikes. Fastball in, fastball up and in. And he just uh, pulled his hands in and uh, hit it out of here. And that's kind of what we did yesterday, where we got one back. And two, two in the ninth inning is difficult. One in the ninth inning to overcome is doable, and especially for these guys. And um, uh, we got our zero, and uh, it's tied there. And then, and then Pechtel, uh, um, I'm sorry, Pechtel was the tenth. It's all running together. Um, great at bats by Nico, and uh, Harmon uh, gets a two strike slider. and. Uh, Puts another run, and then uh, they they answer, and we we, uh, we go down by one again, and then uh, Pechtel sits on a left on left slider, and then Tyler Williams, what a great at bat, and and he's been more and more disciplined in the strike zone. It's been awesome to watch, and uh, reads the left hander, stolen base, and then Burnaby, I believe it was two strikes, just puts the ball in play, puts pressure on the defense, and runs a hard ninety, and uh, it, it went our way, and so. Um, we handled, biz handled business, excuse me, did what we needed to do at home and put ourselves in, in a position uh, that we've been talking about since August. Coach, you said after yesterday's game, it's just the magic of May. Uh, were you expecting this much magic here today after that? Uh, I was expecting something. Uh, I, I knew something good was going to happen. That, that's what we talk about in our dugout is believing that something good's going to happen. Even if you don't get the big hit, uh, that that means that it's supposed to be the next guy. Uh, instead of uh, I didn't I didn't get it done. It's well it wasn't my turn. And so the next guy is supposed to get the big hit. And so uh, um, it's just a fun ride. And right now we as coaches just want to get out of the way and tell them when the game is and tell them when the bus leaves and get them there and just watch them go play. And uh, they're doing a great job of just playing relaxed and just having fun. And so uh, we're we're excited for this for this home stretch to see what happens. Thanks, Coach Goodwin. Thank you, Go Trojans. All right, we got Jake Wright, Jack Klein, and Ben Harmon. Uh, Jack, we'll start with you. You know, going five and five and two thirds innings and just being out there and doing your thing. I was going through your mind as you're starting to navigate this world of being the Sunday starter. Just trying to, <clears throat> just trying to go out there and compete, live in the bottom of the zone, let my defense work behind me. Uh, like last weekend, just trying to get ahead, get us back in the dugout, and let our boys go to work. And Jake, we've seen you hit you know, over your career, and this season too, you've seen you hit many clutch hits. What's going through your mind when you hit that uh, that home run? Uh, just trying to get something going for the boys is all. You know, we they they did a great job of holding us down the first uh, two thirds of that game, but just wanted to hit something hard to get the guys going, and we you know we got enough going to to win the ball game. So I'm very grateful. And speaking of clutch performances, Ben, we've seen you do this before, uh, particularly the game or the game earlier in the season against Belmont. Uh, what is your you know your approach coming into the game as a utility player and having to play a bunch of different positions? And how do you how do you go about being so successful in a variety of ways? Um, for the first time, it's just fight. That seems to be the motto of one through nine is just fight and have resilient at bats and just try to pass the bat. And that's all I was trying to do is put together a good one. Um, and as far as just getting prepared, it's you know. I, Coach Sanders and the coaches work me at a lot of different spots in practice and really get me ready before the game. And uh, I just try to do everything I can to help the team and play as hard as I can. Jack, we saw on the broadcast that uh, you up on the top step, up on your knees there, cheering on the boys. Um, it's something that I learned traveling in, uh, to Ole Miss is just that even when it's not your day on the bump, 
you're over there just loudest one in the dugout cheering everybody on how much fun is it this time of the year and some close conference games down the stretch just to be with the boys you know it's very fun like coach curry said we have something very special to do and I feel like it's always good to just be there and bring energy you know you might not have the best day on the field but if you can help them in the dugout and help the team get a win it's always a plus and then ben a couple years in juco come to little rock uh not a ton of the field early and then really fight for your place in the in the lineup every day whether it's dh first you know third right now and uh how good does it feel down the stretch just to contribute and be a part of what's going on here in Little Rock? I mean, it's awesome. Uh, number one thing is, you know, for me early was embrace my role, whatever that was. Last year was a lot of base running and coming in and playing defense. And this year, uh, you know, luckily I've you know been able to see the field a lot more and get a lot more at bats. But it's always just been embrace my role and help the team win. This is it for a lot of us. And that's kind of that's the what we've been focusing on here this entire year is just find a way to win and just just compete every single at bat and every single game. Appreciate it, boys. Sir. Thank you.